Depending upon the subject that you will internally quality assure, you'll usually follow the IQA cycle. So the cycle will continue to ensure that the teaching, learning and assessment process is constantly monitored and improved. Records of all activities must be maintained to satisfy your organization, the regulatory requirements and the awarding organization's requirements. So the IQA cycle can involve the following aspects. So identifying the product or service, so this to ascertain what is to be taught, assessed and internally quality assured and why. Remember your purpose. For example, are learners working towards a qualification or a program of learning or is it staff being observed performing their job roles? So the criteria will need to be clear. So what units from a qualification, which is the product or the support the learner requires. So that's going to be the service. So learners should be allocated to assessors in a fair way, perhaps according to their location, workload or even expertise. Now planning. So you need to devise a simple plan to arrange what will be monitored, from whom and when. So plan these dates to observe the trainer and the assessor performance and hold team meetings and standardization activities. So information will need to be obtained from the assessors to assist the planning process and risks taken into account, such as assessor knowledge, qualifications and experience. Then we have the activities. So you need to carry out the IQA activities, which could be sampling learners work, talking to your learners, your staff, supervisors, witnesses, observing your trainers and assessors, sampling assessment records and decisions, and even preparing for the EQA visits. So activities also include holding meetings and standardization events, supporting and training relevant staff, and communicating with others involved in the assessment and IQA process. Then we've got decision and feedback. So make a judgment as to whether the trainer or the assessor has performed satisfactorily and make valid and reliable decisions. Provide developmental feedback as to what was good and what can be improved. Agree action points if necessary and follow them up. Then we have evaluation. So carry out a review of the assessment process and the IQA process to determine what could be improved or even done differently. You need to agree action plans if necessary and it's all about improvement, so we need to implement these and follow up. So follow any action plans from external quality assurers or inspectors and write self-assessment reports as necessary. So throughout the cycle, standardization of practice between assessors and IQAs should take place. This will help to ensure that there is consistency and fairness of decisions. Feedback should also be obtained from learners and others involved in the assessment process. Records must be maintained of all activities for audit requirements.